fact is uh, fact is uh, uh, farooq don't it's you may like it or not. if they wanted to uh, if they wanted to win hearts in india all they needed to do was was ensure that the bbc apologized for what jeremy clarkson said about roaming around india with a jaguar fitted with a toilet that was the worst cultural stereotype the indian government actually sent in a letter which the british government didn't bother to reply to welcoming into this debate right now uh, virender kumar sharma is the british uh, labor can i can, labor I, party can I please tell you yes. can i please say that you are very concerned with the image of india i am much more concerned with the fact that the disparity of incomes in india the disparity of development the uneven development of india is much more important than what jeremy that, clarkson that, that says is, about that is, toilets that is, that is or concern. indeed how much but, aid but, is but being Paru, given governments concern. should concern it's, themselves with that that is india's concern it's not the concern of a country that gives peanuts and that also forces those peanuts upon us the question is therefore Nisha, absolutely but no one minute one minute one minute virendra kumar sharma but, welcome from jalandhar uh, disha agarwal what's your take on this you are the ceo of oxfam how important is this what what is being described by the indian government as peanuts I mean uh, we we have to see what we are calling peanuts 0.4% of gdp if we are calling peanuts uh we spend 0.9% on the whole health system so it's really not peanuts it's a huge amount and if you were to ask the 250 million people who are going to bed hungry in india today i think they would be happy to have those peanuts british aid is one of the best aid of all countries in the world it's untied it it focuses on poverty in india it goes to bihar it goes to madhya pradesh it goes to orissa these are states with large unfinished agendas on poverty on inequality on social exclusion what is happening to tribal people what is happening to dalits there it's playing a very very important role there and i think on this focusing on health systems on education systems on empowering communities to demand accountability from the government so it's not surprising the government doesn't really want that i think if i mean if seriously if we want to deliver on inclusive development and not just talk about it we should be welcoming all kinds of partnerships and saying anybody who wants to come and help us is welcome into this country because we've crossed some arbitrary threshold of 1000 dollars per capita but with rising inequality with huge pockets of the population not in any way benefiting from the kind of development we've seen in 20 years and to say but, that but, you know, but this is this, this is not about well, but this is it, but know? this is based on commercial considerations we have a classic situation this no, aid is being based no, on commercial considerations mark linking it not but not development considerations the best aid provider no with completely untied aid in the past you know this no, no, is somebody making an off the cuff remark doesn't spoil no, the nature but then, of different but, aid but then tell me why is the uk stopping aid to vietnam serbia and iraq because they don't have defense deals please tell me why would they what does iraq not need assistance no as does serbia not need said, assistance we do we have a special relationship no. with dfid with the our two countries have a relationship aid is one way of lubricating that partnership ah. vietnam has a very special relationship with france they don't need to have a special so relationship help. but here's a country that has been so our not. historical partner or not. why are we while giving I, aid to africa while again I admire, to form partnership while, nisha one minute and Sorry. today when we are talking about while these justices, the so <coughs> these rules of the game are set in the global arena they are not set no, domestically no, no, whether it's the price it's of health care while i admire aid, whether it's trade whether it's climate change we need more we have with the rest of the world we have a fit, we have 1000 i'm sorry i'm or going not. to pull out this figure we have one Hundred and five thousand three hundred and thirty-five crore rupees, as of tonight, of unutilized committed external assistance. As of, this is not tonight. This is March thirtieth, two thousand ten. The number would have gone up. So you know, I do not know what this amount of two hundred million, which is being linked to a military jet deal. We should just go ahead and reject it. So hell, so hell. No, but Arnab, Arnab, as as you said earlier, I think let's dealing the two issues. Issue one is. does india need aid i believe it does because our government does precious little in either deploying the aid or having organizations fit enough to deploy that aid for meaningful development but should aid be linked to commercial deals it has been we may not want it there is going to be a quid pro quo whether you like it or not there's no such thing as free aid the tragedy is that the british politicians have actually succumbed to their own fetish for political uh, you know uh, 
a claim. So why, why, by even talking about the fact that we help India, we give India aid, and why the hell have they been ungrateful? So we shouldn't reflect the same have, gratitude that the British politics we have today a, is reflecting on. Virendra Kumar so Sharma. We have Pranam Mukherjee, I take strong objection to Pranam Mukherjee saying the aid is peanuts. <coughs> I don't think it's a gracious way to accept someone's aid and then rebuke him. Well, what is equally distressing is for a I British politician with, 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 with to link that, that aid... One second, to one second, one second. So here, Emma Boone wants to come in. Yes, Emma. Yes, Emma. Please go on. I, I, this is a question that British taxpayers are asking right now as they read these headlines in, in our newspapers over here is why is it that uh, when the Indian government can afford a space program yes. it can't afford to help its own poor no one in, in Britain disputes the fact that there are very very many great number of very poor people in India as well as the fact that there is a side of India that is prospering that is doing well and that was put into the, in, the category of being a middle income uh, nation by the World Bank but there is that side of India that has sure. those very poor people. Nobody disputes that. Our issue is that the entire amount of money that we send to India in aid from the UK, that sum total is one third of what is spent on the Indian space program. Why can't India help its own poor? That's what British taxpayers well, precise, want to know. No, no, but what's it, what's we don't need your, we don't need your, we don't need your dispensation, madam. You know, we don't need you to tell us whether we can take care of ourselves or not. So what we are certainly not looking at is a lecture, either moral or otherwise, on economic theories. The point that we are making is quite simple. The British should not have linked the defense deal to aid and made it so blatantly so. Which they have. Whether the British government needs to spend money on British subjects is a matter for the British government to decide. Yeah, We're exactly. Equally I quite the agree with you that the trade shouldn't be linked to the aid. Our politicians behaved in an ungrateful manner. But the fault is with so the British. don't give us your hand-me-down moral lecture The, the fault economics. is with the British. Okay, we don't the, need that lecture in this the fault, the fault is entirely... I'm not trying to make a moral lecture. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this is what British taxpayers... This is the question that British taxpayers are asking. And I quite agree with so you, you that trade should not be linked to uh, aid. Why don't you... Why don't you Occupy Westminster instead of St. Paul's Cathedral, since that is busy. Go occupy Westminster and beseech your MPs to stop giving aid and start taking care of British subjects. We are not linking those two. We are saying there are two different buckets. We love the fact, I am at least as an Indian, grateful for all the aid that my country has received from no matter which country. What I do get concerned about is... Uh, no, hang on, aid hang on. To what is the best security need for selective out. concern. Selective concern for India is Can born out of, uh, out of the temptation, Farooq Dhondi, whether you accept it or not. This selective concern and uh, love no, for you India's can, you poor... Can tell, you is, can tell is, Emma not to give you moral lectures, but I am a person of Indian origin, I am an Indian, and I think that Pranam Mukherjee and Nirupama Rao, while refusing the aid, ought to say what they are going to do about the disparities in Very India right. itself. Well, well, that is certainly... That is the concern I'm of the Indian government. And I I'm not giving you a moral lecture. I'm trying to point out that you are more concerned with the image of India than with the, the poverty question and is, with the, the absolutely Farooq, you're wrong. Farooq, inequality. Farooq, you're wrong because Andrew Mitchell said that we gave the money because we wanted to win the bid. We wanted to sell the typhoon. That's but why we were giving the money. He's blown the lid off. Totally, totally. It is totally irrelevant to the real thing. You're talking why? about Andrew Mitchell's foolishness. Okay, Andrew Mitchell is an idiot. Fine. <laughs> but... What about Prada Mukherjee <laughs> saying we are not to dis Prada we don't Mukherjee want these peanuts? As, as, as I told I you, not, Prada you, Mukherjee, you know, you are dishing out statistics. Prada Mukherjee, you are dishing out statistics. Prada Let Muk me dish out a statistic. <coughs> there is more money in Swiss banks from Indian capitalists and from corrupt officials <coughs> than the, than from the rest of the world. Did you know that? I don't know, but it is slightly embarrassing that Pranam Mukherjee, almost I'm told the stories in Washington, the British Chancellor of the Exchequer refused to let go of his hand till he agreed to continue to take the aid. I mean, this is something that the British taxpayers must ask. And if it was aimed at the bid, you might as well stop. Virendra Kumar Sharma, where do you stand, sir? Mr. Sharma, where do you stand? I'll first, uh, it's very interesting uh, what the other panel members are saying. But at the same time, I'm very disappointed the language used by some of the uh, panelists <coughs> uh, in this program. As a member of uh, British Parliament and as a participant in the British debate only about three to four days ago, 
uh, I can confirm that the majority parliamentarians, including the Prime Minister of the country, <coughs> no disappointed that when they did not get the contract. But there is no link between the aid and the trade at this time. And nobody is saying that we should be withdrawing rather than only few <coughs> individuals. Can you tell me, sir? There is no such move. <coughs> Mr. Sharma. There is no such move. Mr. Sharma, uh, Mike. In Britain. Mr. Sharma, am I concerned? Mr. Sharma. The campaign is to 